Afterwards, you know what? After after the bowl game, after the bowl game, I looked at my wife and I said, "Is that all there is?" Then, you know, I, and it's it's funny because you know you, you're working towards a goal and you get there and you go, "Is that it?" You know, and that's why you need to try to do it again. So, but I, I mean, I was I was happy for the kids with what they did. I was happy for my guys on my staff because to be able to come in and, and as a new staff and then be able to, to do what we did, that's, that's pretty good. Those guys are pretty talented. You put so many hours in there and see that every coach does, but at the end of the year, some coaches are just exhausted, tired. What, 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 how much energy do you have left at the end of the season? Where, where, where are you in terms of well, it, 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 it wears on you. i tell you what, what wears on you is, is, is the week and then the game. Cause you got you got so many decisions to make and, and you're trying to manage the game. and. Uh, so like on like a Saturday night, you, know, you got to be able to you know, just kind of take a deep breath. But um, once the season ended, I was on the road that Monday recruiting, so it never stops. You know, after after recruiting, that's when you kind of take a deep breath. What role do you see for Jeff Smith? He's going to be a kick returner for us. I'm going to try to get the ball in his hands as many times as I can, and just see what he can do with it. And he's going to be my kick returner. I'm going to. Uh, have him out of the backfield. He's going to run the ball. He's going to catch passes. You got to get the ball in the playmaker's hands. So pretty much what you had hoped for last year. Well, that's what I was hoping, you know. And uh, and he's excited to be playing. You know, excited to be playing again. So that's a positive. Uh, Ryan Purvis mentioned that he was all. He's kind of bulked up a little bit. Yeah, and you know the thing is, he went off for track for two weeks and popped a 10-5. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so uh, that's that's that speed element that I was yeah. looking for. And, uh, I mean, he's the fastest guy in the ACC. I think Spiller ran a 10, 10 5, 9, something like that. And he ran a 10 5, 1. So, pretty good. Toll is healthy, right? Toll, Toll's healthy. The first time that he's been able to go through a, a whole. Uh, off-season program. He, he was never healthy, so he never got a chance to be in the weight room and go through the winter condition and all that. He was always so banged up. So I think by him going through our, our weight program and all that, I think it's really going to benefit him. He's, he's a lot more solid than he was. He's changed his body type. You know, he, he's a lot more, uh, you know, built up up top, protect his shoulders a little bit more. So I mean, he's good. I, I'm, I think our strength coach Jason uh, does a great job with our, our football team, Scalzo. Was there even a point last year where you thought maybe you could No, because I wasn't going to tell. I told him, he had to be honest with me. Yeah. I said, I'm not going to put you out there to burn your senior year if you're not healthy. I said, that's just, it's not good for, for you, it's not good for our team. So he was, he was I just, I'm going to sit out this year, it's so, okay. Are, are you, I mean, two guys like that here that Blossom, to New York. Uh, Costanzo, yeah. both of those guys. Yeah, uh, Costanzo is up to about 287 pounds. We moved him to the left side. Right. Um, but he's been, and we, we brought in guys, when we were recruiting, we brought in guys just like him. We brought in uh, Cleary from Chicago, who, who uh, Nate Richmond is farther along than what Anthony was at this time last year. As a, as a redshirt freshman, he's going to be a really good. We're going to get that offensive line back to where we're cranking these guys out. Again. Small version. Well, I know 310 is not small. They're going to, Costanza will be 310. When, all these guys will be all 300 pound guys, but athletic. It will be. It's just, well, is that a change in. in no. Because, because those no. guys are talking about getting small. I mean, I mean fast and smaller. No, we don't want to. We don't want to. Uh, we. I don't want just small, small guys, Mark. I, I still want big BC linemen, but I want athletic guys. Okay. I'm not looking for guys. We got uh, Rich Lapham, who was at 355 at one time. He's 3, 312 now. You know, and it just he's, he's all that extra weight's no good. It doesn't doesn't help you. So, but all those guys, the, the kind of guys that I got now, all have big frames. They're all between six four to six six. And they're 260 right now. And uh, Costanzo was 239 when he came here. When he first got here, it was 239. When he was when he was in uh, his uh, when he got here in January, 239. Then he went up to 250. He ended up playing at 2 260.
He was when he, when we first when we first got him. He was a twig. <laughs> What's your opinion on an early signing period? Would you like to see? I would love to have early signing period. When would you like to have an idea? Uh, in early December, I would because that way you can stop recruiting those guys. They're going to be your guys. You don't. And because what happens a lot of times, you know, other schools keep recruiting your guys after. So once they're signed, then you can move on to the next guy. So I'd be really in favor of that. And do you like the BCS system the way it is now, or would you like to see some sort of playoff? I'd like to see a playoff. I, I think that would be, uh, I think that'd be fun. It really works for the one double A, and I think it generates a lot of excitement. It's just it's never been done before, so. But yeah, I would like to see that. What do you think is feasible at this level? Yeah, I really don't know. I really don't know. And I guess the coaches are having some sort of reached an agreement on some sort of injury type announcement. What was the reason why y'all decided that? Well, I, I, just, I just, you know, to, to let people, this is one of the things we had the whole, the whole, last, the whole last year. Are you comfortable with this? Very comfortable. I mean, that's, really? the, way, that's the way we, you know, we'll give you in the beginning, and it's, just, it's the NFL deal. I mean, it's probable, doubtful, out, and we'll let the guy's out, he's out. If he's doubtful. But, but you'll know, I mean, you'll be at practice. Yes. Well, you know. What was the problem you were having last year? Just not you would say something to the other team. Well, it, here, here's the thing that you don't want to do is if you're preparing, let's say you're preparing for Boston College and, and you know that Chris Crane is not going to play, your game plan is different. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're not sure, I mean, you got to still prepare. So the less information is better to me about your, about your personnel. Now, I got my guys right here from Boston, <laughs> but less, per, less, less questions or less answers about personnel. Injuries, yeah. the, the least I'll say. So why did you all agree on this? Because <laughs> Blossom was just always on to me. <laughs> uh, we just just felt that it was, uh, uh, and, and I kind of did it last year. Mm -hmm. yeah. These guys are relentless on me last year. But, I mean, it's similar to what you've been through in the past. I yeah, imagine. yeah, yeah. I just to give information out that doesn't need to be out there. Mm -hmm. uh, that gives them an advantage, in my opinion. Are you? You think everybody's going to agree to this? I mean, everybody's agreeing to it now. People still agree to it. I think so. I think so. Because it takes that one thing that you don't need to be talking about all week. Now they'll know like Thursday, you know, before a game. I mean, you'll know. But by then, your preparation is done. Okay. If I know that, that uh, Taylor's not playing for uh, Virginia Tech early on, my game plan's different. But this way you won't know for sure till Thursday night anyway. So. But you'll know early on on where they're at. <laughs> you don't. You, you, don't, you don't replace a, a, a guy like that, but you, what you do is you have a guy, he's got a turn. His, his turn has come, and that's Chris Crane. So that's, uh, it's, it's hard to replace it, but I don't think anybody is irreplaceable. Just take a look at, you know, after Matt Hasselbeck left, then you had, you know, Timmy was there, and then St. Pierre came, and then Peterson came, and then Matt Ryan got his chance, and now it's going to be Chris Crane's chance. So, um, at some point, you're going to be a starter for the first time. It's just, 